Hi, hey, hello everyone. Welcome to a new studio vlog. My hair wrap is coming off. This looks a little bit more chic. I was like, do I look like ratchet with coming on here with my head forth? But it was cute. And I have on a black tank, so we was matching, but it wanna come off, so we'll let it come off. I have not launched anything new since February 2023. It is now, today I think it's July 27th, 2023. So it's been a hot minute. But in that time, I have just been making a pivot about what I'm going to do with my artwork. Um, I was at a point where I'm like, do I continue with the art? And the answer is yes. But the answer is doing it in a way that God has showed me to do it many moons ago to put his word on display. And I've been trying to figure out how to do that without looking like I'm copying other people. But now we are not going to be worrying about if we're copying anybody. We're just going to do the thing. And as we do the thing, it God will show me how to flow and how to make it my own and how to make it unique. One scripture I want to show to you. This is my encouragement wall. <laughs> and this scripture right here, it says... I have put every, oh God, I can't read backwards. <laughs> I have put wisdom in the heart of every skilled artisan in order to make all that I have commanded you. Exodus 31, six. I love this scripture. I'm going to put it on something. Um, and that's what I'm running with. I'm running with that. He has put every thing I needed, all the wisdom, all the knowledge, all the know-how. I just need to step out and do it. And as I do it, he will continue to show me how to make it happen. So let me show you what I got so far. And then the next clip will be, I don't know what it will be, <laughs> but you will see in a few seconds. boxes from Amazon um, I think I already showed you what it looks like to have them in these small boxes but I didn't want to layer the earrings on top of each other um, and have to do like a whole glassine sheet protective sheet so they will be coming like this um, I'm going to stick this part down into the cushion so that it stays more secure but honestly I could put this on here close it up shake it around open it back up and it pretty much stays intact so I'm not going to put any like protective sheet over it I know that it'll be just fine um, I'm also going to add some instruction cards on Canva I'm gonna make that up and then print them out and cut them out and put them in the inside so if this is a gift to somebody, they don't have to have all of the original packaging. It can just be given as a gift just like this. These are the bigger boxes that I bought so that they can fit these larger earrings can fit side by side. And I've already, um, and the cushion is very like stiff. It's very cushiony, but it's very like, it's not going anywhere. So um, like I said, I will stick the earring hook in there so that it can stay. If you do end up getting these, 
just know that the hole I for I don't know why they made them like that that the hole is not in the center so the holes are on the side so if the hole is on the left it's for your left ear and if the hole is on the right it's for your right ear so I'm putting it in just as it's supposed to be and the same thing with this close it shake it up open it up and it's fine so I like using boxes um I also like just using my logo label on there with my website address on it it just makes for a simple clean easy packaging and it looks automatically giftable and it gives an elevated um let me get my words together it gives an elevated look um to the hand painted earrings so it's like oh what's in here like i like the surprise of that if you've been following me you know i like i like you to open up your packages for me and feel like you're getting a gift i think that's one of my love languages gift giving and so <laughs> i want my customers to feel like they're opening a gift all right so we are on another day this is my storage closet i have the door open because i'm going to be using that as my um backdrop for when i do close-up of the earrings so i'll be like this and then you can see the earring to see length i am not like it's going to be getting all close and personal so i don't want to show all this this is not finessed for the internet <laughs> for the website so i got my trusty wig child i'm gonna put my wig on and uh, it's really only gonna be like partially on but just enough to have like some nice curls and then you'll see the earrings and not all of this other stuff going on since i am my own model for this shoot today okay so i did some test shots yesterday so for these i'm doing the marbled look with um yeah all of these are like that marbled acrylic pour look so i'm gonna go with a simple background of this white paper this is scrapbook paper um i've had this for maybe a year or so now um it adds a nice texture and then i have this faux leaf that is <laughs> on its last leg i wish i i need to go and get like some real palms i like photo photographing with palms but um yeah so it's real enough it looks real enough and then I have this that I got from um Michael's yesterday and I have a little one as well so this is for the littles and then this one will be for the bigs so I've got everything planned out for this setup and then over here beyond there is nonsense <laughs> but up here I have um everything already organized as far as what earring palettes go with what art background yeah. so this is some artwork that i did for the earrings um so here's a set so that you can see that it matches but i'm not doing it directly on that because it's too much going on in the background so these, the more colorful, fun, funky earrings will be on these backgrounds that I painted. So you have a solid background for the earring to pop, but you also have some interest in the background. I went with wood because these are, all of these earrings are made of wood. And so I wanted to play on that theme of like, these are wood, but also hand painted so yeah that's the vibe that we're going for and like i said i have all of these already organized according to what painting and color palettes and all of that jazz and then um right here i have my quick little list of the shots that i need to take um so a front wide shot so it's going to be big so you can see it from afar and then a close-up so you can see like you know close-up shot like that getting the detail so you can really see and then back wide shot so it'll be i will do um like one side will be back one side will be front so you can see what the back looks like and then um measuring so that would be with me with the earring on me so that you can see 
Um, and then I've got my alcohol over here so I can clean the hooks after I've worn them, just so you know. Um, and they'll be good to go. And then I'll put like the little, um, these back on here. I'm starting with these today because all of these are already done. I still have a couple of like my palm earrings that are not ready to be shot yet because I'm still waiting on more hooks to come in, but we will get there when we get there. But as far as the day goes, like I'm really excited to get started on this and use natural light. And I have my stand here, but I probably won't use it. I'll probably just use my hand to do it. And then I have this, my door, to try to create a little bit extra reflection over here. But yeah, that's what we got going on today. So stay tuned for some test shots. currently editing um, I've got my first image up my first product up so we've got the marble earrings and let's see come down a little bit so you can see a little bit better I love how everything turned out I feel like it looks pretty professional uh, straightforward and then my description here is gonna I'm just gonna carry that through with all of the others um, this part, I did use chat GPT. I'm going to tweak it a bit to match what I need. But yeah, so far so good. So that's what it would look like on the web. And from a mobile view, this is what it will look like. So we've got that. Very pleased with how that's looking. So yeah. I've already have some reviews on here from other customers from other um, products, but yeah, that's a preview of what it's gonna look like. So we are on to a good start. Okay, so another day, same shirt, new hat. I just dropped the kiddos off with their Auntie Gotti um, for the day. They're gonna be hanging out. So I'm gonna take advantage of the quiet and the peace, <laughs> the no distractions. And I'm going to try to take pictures of as many earrings as I can. And then I'll worry about like editing later this evening or as the next few days go along. We are coming down to crunch time. It's Saturday, August 5th. The official launch is August 10th. The soft launch, which you know about, will be August 9th. And so I need to get everything done by August 8th. <laughs> So Tuesday, August 8th. So I'm going to try to do as much as I can today. As much as I would like to just like relax and chill because they're not home. This is very important. I need to get this done. And I just know how much more tense I will be if I try to do this stuff while they're home. All right. So I'm going to take some pictures and then I will be back. <laughs> I just took photos of eight pairs of earrings that is six shots times eight whatever that is I'm getting tired so I'm gonna take a break um, I didn't get any of the close-up like with me wearing them but I don't know that I'm gonna do that today I think I've done enough today I think I've done enough I still have a few more hours before the kiddos have to come back home I have not eaten any lunch yet it's 1:30. Boo is home. My husband, husband is home. So we're going to go get us some Publix subs and hang out. And this is 
this is what it's about. Like we say we want to be entrepreneurs. We want to have our own business. But we also have to practice being good employees to ourselves and not driving ourselves to the ground. And I am feeling the urge inside like you need to just, it's going to be all right. Everything's going to come together. Do not use up all this time kid free <laughs> to just do work. Like you are, you're able to balance and juggle both when they're here and we still have tomorrow. We still have a couple more days. So what will need to be done will get done in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to take a rest. Um, I'll probably just tinker on my phone because I do all my editing on my phone anyway and edit this vlog. So it'll be ready. That's one less thing I have to do. And yeah, so I'm going to call it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and check the website out. By the time you see this, they are ready and they are up. Let me know what you think. Check the comments or check the description box for the link. And until next time, stay well and be blessed. Bye.